Yep. So I'm here with Adrian. This is Zach Linton. We are at the Balboa bus station. This is our last stop today as we've been out preaching the gospel, praying for folks, just being led of the Holy Spirit. So we're going to hang out for a little while and we'll see what God does. Yep. So, yeah, so this is Zach and Adrian. We're here at the Balboa bus station with Michael. How old are you, Michael? Uh, 17. Okay, and are you, uh, you're in high school or whatever? Yeah, I'm a uh, junior. Awesome. awesome. So we're just out here doing some interviews, trying to engage people on a spiritual level. So do you believe in God? Do you believe there's something else out there besides just, uh, you know, random physical world that we live in? Yeah, honestly, I think God is great. Okay. God is, God is the key. Amen. So you, so you believe, and how strongly would you say you believe in God? Like very strongly, kind of half and half, or Maybe not very strongly? Very, very strong. Yeah. Okay. He makes, he makes very good happen. He makes uh, things possible. Okay. And uh, what do you feel like is the purpose of life? Uh, life is to enjoy, have fun, peace, joy. Yeah. Okay, so kind of like, you know, having fun. Um, what about the people who suffer in life? Do you feel like they miss the, the purpose of life? Or do you feel like there's something more than just having fun and, and, and doing yeah, your own yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there is actually uh, more than having fun. I think people are suffering. Yeah, there's, there's always... Basically, just never give up. That's what I'm like, trying to like. Yeah. yeah. And he also says in Matthew um, that I have come to seek and to save that which is lost. You know, and so God's purpose for all of us who believe in Jesus is that we would be the answer to the suffering in the world, that we would have a restored relationship with God, so that then we can be His agents of healing all around the world. You know what I mean? Not just like physical healing, although God does miracles, He heals people. We've seen that earlier today. We literally saw some people get healed at the park just like 20 minutes ago. Uh, literally, like a miracle. And, and as important as that is, and we need that, like so many people need healing in their hearts, right? I mean, so many people have been through like a family that's been divorced, uh, you know, people, friends, girlfriends that have uh, turned against them, betrayed them, spoken evil things against them. And again, I mean, so many people don't really know what the purpose of life is, right? I mean, I, I think your answer is very common to a lot of people, you know, hey, it's just about enjoying life, trying to like, you know, do some fun things, travel, not be a bad person, right? Like we've all heard these types of things before, but I want to submit to you, my brother, that um, God has a greater purpose for all of us. You know, he wants us to really live a life that matters. Um, you know, and Jesus is the greatest example of sacrifice. You know, he, when he came on the earth, he said something amazing. He said that the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so the reason that we needed uh, to be ransomed is that the Bible says because all of us have done sinful things, evil things, things like lying, stealing, cheating, sleeping around, murder, worshiping money, worshiping ourselves, pride, all that kind of stuff, right? Evil, self-centered stuff, uh, that those sins separate us from God. Uh, and then because we're separated, we're actually if we die with sins and, and, and separation from God, we're going to go to a horrible place of suffering called hell. You know, but the good news is that Jesus says, hey, I love Michael. I love Adrian. I love Zach. I love all the people in this bus stop, even though some of them don't want to don't want to listen to me, don't want to hear my word. Um, I am going to send my son Jesus to die on the cross for them so that the punishment that you and me that we deserve, God put it on Jesus. Does that make sense? You know, um, and so you and I can receive forgiveness. And man, I, I would just like to tell you, man, that's the best news ever. Yes. And that's the news that will free you. That's the news that will change you from the inside out. It's better than counseling. It's better than drugs. It's better than whatever parties the world is telling you on MTV you need to jump into. Otherwise, you're missing. No, you're not missing anything. Living a life for God is the most amazing, fulfilling, joyful thing. But there will be tribulations too. You know, there will be some hard times. There's going to be some people that don't want to hear the message. So, and let me ask you this last question. Have you ever invited Jesus into your life directly? What do you mean? Are you sure or are you kind of sure? 
So when you say definitely, like, can you think of a time where you prayed or you made that commitment to God? Is it coming into your mind clearly right now? I mean, I kind of like, I do understand the question, but then I, I don't, it's like... Okay, well, we're going to, I want to make it just crystal clear for you. Like, basically, Jesus said this, he said, um, John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that if anyone would believe in him, Believe means to have full faith, full trust, to like entrust our lives into Jesus' hands. Not just to believe in an idea and do nothing. Believing fully in Him means like it changes everything. Like our lives are now in His hands. Do you see what I mean? So, for God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that if anyone believes in Him, He would not perish, but have eternal life. Okay, so this is in a nutshell, this is what the gospel is, is that God wants to you to put your full trust and faith in Jesus Christ, His Son, because God loves you, and He loved you and me enough that He sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. Does that make sense? Yeah. You've heard about Jesus dying on the cross. And then the Bible also teaches that on the third day, He rose from the grave. He didn't stay dead, right? Yeah. So, so we know that Jesus is alive, and the Bible says He's actually alive in us, yes. living inside of those who have received Him. Um, and that if we will repent, that means to just like turn away from evil and just say, you know what, God, I, I'm done living my own life. I'm done trying to be the, the God of my own life. And I'm ready to make you the God of my life. Uh, that if you will repent and believe in Jesus Christ and, and invite him into your life, that you will be forgiven. That you can have a restoration between you and God and you can know for absolute certain, not maybe, not I hope so, not I think I'm a good person, so hopefully God will let me in heaven. No, you can know for absolute certain that you are saved and that you are going to be in heaven with God when you die. Does that all make sense to you? Yeah. 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 So can we pray with you right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just so say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm yours. I'm yours. I open my heart. And I invite you in. I invite you in. You're the Lord of my life. Lord of my life. So lead me. So lead me. And teach me your ways. And teach me your ways. I give you my whole life. My whole life. And I receive, and I receive the joy of the Lord. Yes. I receive, I receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. <laughs> I'm yours. Woo! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Show me the kingdom of heaven. Show, show me the kingdom of heaven. And give me your power. Give me your power. And give me your authority. And give me authority. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want to bring heaven. I want to bring heaven to earth. To earth. Amen. Amen. And so Thank it's a so fun much. ride. Hey, so check this out. I was just telling my brother this morning, like when I was younger, when I was like 18, before I like graduated high school, right? Like I believed in God and I was going to church and I was going on the weekends with my family, you know, and I believed in Jesus. I had him in my heart. I received Jesus and I didn't know there was power. Like we mentioned earlier, we prayed for somebody earlier and they were healed. Okay. So I wasn't taught this in church. So I kind of fell away from Jesus. And I'm not saying that's gonna to happen to you, but it happened in my own life. I fell away. I started smoking weed and drinking my homies and, and got messed up with some other stupid stuff. But I came back to the Lord later and I realized that I'm supposed to have Jesus in my heart and fill me. I realized that the Bible told me that we were supposed to do the same works as Jesus did. If I would have known back then, when I was your age, that I could lay hands on the sick and Jesus would heal them, that I could like release a word of prophecy and reveal people's hearts Come on. so that, that God could speak to them and encourage them and build them up. If I knew there was that power back then, I wouldn't have went and got lost for like 10, 15 years. Yeah. I just want to encourage you to know yeah. that yeah. when Jesus is in you, that yeah. there's power, there, yeah. that there's a strength there, yeah. that there's an authority that we carry. And, and God doesn't want to take away the fun part of our lives, but he wants to give us a fullness and a fun and a joy yeah. that's supposed to be everlasting and wholesome where do you where do you live at like what area you know, me, oh i live in uh, north hollywood okay okay, okay yeah. i go to a church in north hollywood oh really yeah go ahead and so so michael i just want to get some feedback from you so how are you feeling after we prayed this prayer and what's going through your mind right now i'm actually i'm actually pretty shocked with what i just learned right now i don't really i don't really like go to church but like it's actually kind of like you know, open your eyes yeah open my eyes open my eyes opportunities out there and, do you feel God's uh, God's love or His peace inside you after you have invited Jesus yeah, into your life? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any last thoughts you want to share with uh, any young people in the audience who might be watching this right now? Um, yeah, there's always believe in God. I think yeah, believing in God is 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 is, is key because later, like in the end, we're we we will all we will all, we will all like end up praying that we want to go to heaven. Yeah. And, uh, 
through. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michael. Thanks so much. All right.